We started with very humble beginnings. A couple bookshelves of games, some gaming peripherals, really just trying to expand an already existing eBay business. But now, we're a fully fledged out retro video game store. We have thousands of games. We usually have every console in stock at all times. We have special edition consoles, we get guitars for Guitar Hero, drums for Rock Band, and so much more. And really it's all thanks to and because of you guys, our community, our customers here in Lynchburg and online. Just thank you guys. We love being here for you and we're gonna continue to do that. We're gonna go over the changes to the floor here in just a little bit, but first, let's go over what new games we have coming out this week for another update. Starting off with Nintendo, we have some good popular titles. We have for the Switch, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Had this in a few times before. The price is held pretty consistently for us at about between $85 to $90. It's a very highly sought after game. It was kind of a limited run of, not made by limited run, but there were a limited amount of physical copies created. So kind of hard to find, has a lot of classic games ported to the Switch like uh, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario 64. And then we also have Zelda Twilight Princess, the HD for the Wii U. Another great title. I don't believe they've ported that to the Switch yet. So just another one that's highly sought after. Of course, the GameCube version is also very sought after. The Wii one, we don't talk about, uh, but then the Wii U, uh, pretty good. HD remaster, I know a lot of those Zelda remasters have been very popular. In addition to that, we have some pretty common Wii and Wii U titles, and then a lot of also common, but very popular first party titles for the Switch. We don't always get a lot of Switch games at one time, so happy to get these all added to the shelf, and most of them to the display case. Continuing on with Nintendo, we have some handheld games for the original Game Boy. We have Operation C. The C is for Contra, in case you didn't know. Contra likes to kind of hide their name in there. They just kind of do their classic little C logo, and I guess if you know, you know. Uh, but then in addition to that, for the 3DS, we have, I've had a hard time with this one, Blaz Blue. It looks like it should be Blaze Blue. Couldn't focus there, but there's no E. And then also just a stack of common, but again, popular kind of the theme for today, uh, Pokemon games. So we have Alpha Sapphire X Sun and Moon, all for the 3DS, on their original case, all hitting the shelves. Rounding off Nintendo, we have some of the older cartridge-based games, like the original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and N64. The highlight, we have Run Saber for the Super Nintendo. Pretty cool game. Uh, it's like a 2D kind of platformer, almost like a Metroid-style game, but with a sword, so you don't have any projectiles just with your weapon. We've also got a copy of Goldeneye there for the N64, one of the more popular ones we get for that system. And then just a handful of other original Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. Before we move on from Nintendo, I want to tell you guys a giveaway that we're going to be starting this week. We're going to be giving away a new, as in Model 2, 3DS XL. It's going to come in the original box in really good shape. Also comes with a charger that was sold separately in its original box, just kind of a matching set there. The way this giveaway is going to work is you earn an entry by spending money in the store. If you spend $100, your name's going to get entered in to win. That's going to take place over the next two weeks and we'll announce the winner two updates from now. You can get your name in there more than one time, but every additional entry is gonna be another $250. So $100 for your name one time, 250 more for every other time. Moving on to PlayStation, there's a handful of various PS1, 2, and 3 games. Nothing too special. We do have a PS Vita game to highlight. We don't too often get very good games for the Vita. We have Metal Gear Solid the HD Collection. So it comes with two and three, just some good titles and a nice pickup for the PlayStation Vita. The biggest haul this week was with PlayStation 4 and 5. We had to have two stacks of those, we had so many. A lot of good titles, kind of middle of the road. For the highlights for PS4, we had Elden Ring and the best one, Resident Evil 4. This was the remake, not the first one, but the second Resident Evil 4 that came out. I've had a few people ask about that recently. And then for PS5, we had Hogwarts Legacy. 
lot of demand when this first came out. These are, I think this is the first used copy we have in, so probably not gonna last very long. And just like everything else that you've seen today, you can hop onto our website and shop at pstg.store. You can do that locally and purchase with in-store pickup if you want us to hold something for you. You also can shop online for shipping anywhere in the United States. Before we move on to consoles and controllers, we just have a few Xbox games that came in as well. There really was actually nothing special to highlight, so we're just gonna play it for you here. To wrap up the restocking update, we have some special edition and special colorway consoles, controllers, and accessories. On the console front, we have a Game Boy Pocket. Haven't had one of those in a while. Another Switch Lite, just like to show people all the colors that come in, and then a special edition color for the Nintendo Switch. Also comes in the original box. This is the non-GameCube compatible version though, so it's only gonna play Wii games. We have a Halo Reach 360 controller and the just a little more unique Xbox One controller. Some PlayStation Move controllers, a Princess Peach Edition Wii Motion Plus controller, and then a keyboard. Some of you guys that come to the store might think you guys don't sell keyboards, but this is the keyboard for the Sega Dreamcast. Works with a handful of games. Typing of the Dead, I know, was one of them. Uh, just a nice, unique piece. We don't get a lot of stuff like that in. And happy to add it to the shelves and online. We've worked hard to remodel the store yet again. I think we're getting pretty close to the final form of what we're going to be. One of the main goals we're trying to achieve is to create a space that we can easily transform to host some tournaments and events. So the first thing you're going to notice when you walk into the store that's different is it's just a lot more open. We've changed the layout where it's more two rows that you walk straight through instead of kind of left or right with being checking out on the right. So when you walk in, there's a little more visible height and it's a lot wider because you get access to that right side wall. We also have a separate trade-in area that's not separate from the checkout so that those two things don't bump and interfere with each other. Now that we can allow customers to have access to the other wall, in addition to the more display pieces that are up on the top still, like the complete inbox consoles or the really more rare special edition ones, we've moved PlayStation 1 and 4 there just to help spread things out and make them more visible. PS4 has been increasingly becoming one of the best selling categories for us. So getting more visibility for that was very important. We also now have a dedicated space for carrying cases and some various accessories some extra cables and some stuff that we honestly just had in bins in the back because we had nowhere to put them. So we have some stuff like the media remotes for the Xbox and PlayStation, plug and play cables, and just some little knickknacks and odds and ends that can all go in one place so they're a little easier to find. The last big thing that we changed is the amount and location of the bookshelves that we use to store and display all of our games. So PlayStation 2 now has its own dedicated section Again, like PS4, it's a little more spread out and raised up, so there's less all the way on the ground. And PS3 as well, on the flip side, right across from them, has its own dedicated section. We've moved Xbox One and Xbox Series X games to the end of the Nintendo row. We added a double stack of bookshelves there to expand that. And then on the back side of Nintendo, where Xbox has always been, we've rearranged it a little bit. Now it's just original Xbox and 360. Everything's moved up, a little easier to browse through, and just more space overall because 360 is our most vast section. It's a lot of games for that console. That's going to do it for us for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out some of our previous weekly updates. You also can subscribe to check out next week's. I'm sure we're going to get some new stuff to show you guys. Have a great week!